Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so iOS 16 developers beta 3 has been re-released plus now iOS 16 is available for public so that means that public beta is out it's not the public release but still if you install the public beta profile you would be able to install and experience ios 16. so in this video we're going to talk about ios 16 developers beta 3 re-release and also i have been using ios 16 beta 3 on my iphone 12 for a couple of days so i am going to talk about the battery life and performance how does it perform and how well has been the battery life a lot of people seems to be having many complaints regarding the battery life so let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let's talk about ios 16 beta 3 battery life and performance so if i go to the settings and then battery as you can see from the graph but before we discuss about the battery life let's take a look at the battery health so the maximum capacity of the battery health percentage is right now 91 percent when i updated from ios 16 beta 2 to beta 3 the percentage health percentage was dropped by one percent so earlier it was 92 percent and after updating it has become 91 percent so that's that now let's talk about the battery life so as you can see the screen on time for last 24 hours is 4 hour 3 minutes and screen off time is 38 minutes so if i take a look at 10 days as you can see on an average i have been getting a screen on time of 5 hour 14 minutes and screen off time of 1 hour 52 minutes and these are the application that i have been using chrome instagram whatsapp gmail camera all these things so i would have to say the battery life is not great but for the people they have been complaining the battery life is terrible or something like that you can't get through a day without charging it thrice or something like that it's not that bad trust me it depends on how you use your phone and how much of a heavy user you are so i'm pretty much a heavy user i generally use my phone for like video calls and stuff and then usually regular text and calls so then also at the end of the day i would be having like five to six percent of battery left i have been testing iphone 12 with ios 16 rigorously so that i can give you some inputs at least uh, you know my experience about how is it going with battery life of ios 16. now talking about this ios 16 beta 3 re-release so let's have a look at that so this update came in about 1.02 gb so ios 16 beta 3 have been released a couple of days back so yesterday night again apple has released it because now apple also released the public beta profile and public beta update so apple has released ios 16 public beta you can go ahead and download and install that but let's have a look at the general and about section and the build number so the new build number with this ios 16 you know beta 3 is 20A5312J. So now talking about the new features, all the features that you have seen on my iOS 16 beta 3 video. So those features are exactly similar, but it's just that to sync up the build number and to sync up everything else, again apple has released ios 16 developer beta 3 and along with that now you have your ios 16 public beta available so with the help of this video i just wanted to talk about the battery life and performance and although performance is uh, not that great on my iphone 10 but i have to say whenever i'm using iphone 12 i didn't notice as such uh, no performance issues but one thing i would like to say still after you know reinstalling the beta 3 some applications are crashing let me give you a live example as you can see there's this application called splitwise now if i click on that it would just crash in front of you as you can see so people would say like reinstall the application i have done that but after reinstalling the application as well some applications are just crashing and not working so i would suggest if you want to try out ios 16 then probably it's better to install ios 16 uh, public beta profile and then probably try out the new features and experience the ios 16 in that way there won't be many app crashes like we are facing in ios 16 developers beta profile but then again if you have a primary device i would not suggest 
you to install iOS 16 at the moment because if that's your primary working device then you won't be able to use each and every application probably maybe banking applications won't work and things like that so with the help of this video I just wanted to talk about the battery life which is not that bad I would say and also I just wanted to inform you that iOS 16 beta 3 has been re-released so then again that's it for this video if you like the video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.